Alumni Varsity Night festivities continue from Windsor, Ontario. It's time for OCAA men's basketball as the Fenshaw Falcons take on the St. Clair Saints. My name's Justin Prince. We're glad to have you with us here from the Sportsplex. Both of these teams coming in on winning streaks. St. Clair looking to try and keep up the momentum after picking up some of the steam for the road course in the road trip, should say. Meanwhile, you have the Fanshawe Falcons who look to try and break to 500 with a victory here tonight. Plenty to talk about when it comes to these two respective sides. Let's take a look at how they'll start here tonight. The brother of Josiah Deer, Jalen Deer, the first year player from Pine Ridge, will make the start tonight, as well as Aiden Willen. Also making the start tonight is Jack Tunsil. And keep an eye on the next two players, Ben Manveer Birdie, and of course, the player of the week in the OCAA, Ali Trailer, has been looking strong throughout this campaign for the three and four Fanshawe Falcons. Their players finishing up their introductions now as St. Clair gets ready to take to their court. Four and two on the season. Three of those victories coming here at this court, at this floor. Chad Vincent Simon starting tonight alongside Terrence Williams, joined by Shaq Price, but an amp player originally coming over from the University of Windsor. A late addition to the starting lineup tonight was Hanani Ijulu. He'll be joined by Darnell Petty in the starting five for St. Clair tonight. It's worth noting there is an injury involved with tonight's decisions for the lineup. Miles Hall out for tonight. Lower body injury picked up during the road trip with Humber and Sheridan being those matchups. St. Clair a bit shorthanded for this matchup. They look to try and win their second matchup in a row after losing two the last three. Here's a look at the standings entering tonight. St. Clair ahead of Fanshawe on the standings. As a result of how they've started off the season. Keep in mind with the points right now, though, Niagara still has technically more victories, but less, more games played than St. Clair in the standings. Mohawk strong to strong the year in the West Division of no. 7-1, no undefeated teams in the West Division coming towards the winter break. Both these teams just about all set to go for tonight's action here from Windsor, Ontario. We're glad to have you with us here on We Did It All. Fanshawe, St. Clair rivalry matchup here on Alumni Varsity Night as St. Clair honors its graduates from cross country, golf, baseball, softball, and soccer. Tonight's officials, David Carnia, Jeff Bastos, along with Jeff Vandervives. Referee today's matchup. St. Clair in their white jerseys with the green and yellow trim. Fanshawe, their black and red jerseys. Jam packed sports pack flex here tonight. All set to go. OCAA men's basketball is all set to go. Fanshawe, St. Clair underway from the Rose City. St. Clair Saints win the opening tip tonight. Williams takes it up to start. Give it off to Darnell Petty. Petty passed off to the baseline. Jewel out of the double. Oak lose stays, stays St. Clair basketball. St. Clair higher up in offense. In fact, second in the province in scoring with several games in the 100-point mark. Down on the shot clock approaching. And the reason it did not fully approach, the clock never moved. So the officials now checking with the scores table on the situation on why the clock did not move in those two or three seconds. Here's there is an issue with the clock. Now it's starting to move. The clock had frozen at some point during the possession. They have now put six seconds on the shot clock. 9.40 to go in the first. Trying to go outside for the three to start. Yes! Chad Vincent Simon with the triple. Falcons now set things up. Jalen Deer passes it off. Trailer. Works from the top. 
from the baseline. Whalen contested over Williams off the side of the backboard. Battle for the rebound. Two players jump on top of each other. Jump ball called. And that will stay at that end of the court. Two seconds. We're on the shot clock. Very active start to this first quarter of play. St. Croix leads 3-0. First 49 seconds ticked along. Quick inbound, quick shot, one foot. No good, rebound picked up by Tunstall. Able to put it back in. Tunstall, six foot two, the first year guard from St. Thomas on the putback. Price one around Williams. Williams, left hand, floats it on in. Inbound the other way, Fanshawe taking their time to find a player to inbound to. Birdie. Moved around and miscommunication intended for Deer instead, thrown to a trash can. And Tony Marco Tulio, the 11th year head coach from Fanshawe, not happy with the decision. Price. Move back to Ronnie Julu. Simon, Petty, bobbles it around, stole it away on the pass to Williams. Going for the slam dunk, yes, Tunstall. Tunstall gets the crowd waking up a bit. Two minutes in. Williams off to Petty. Petty swings it off to Vincent Simon, off the hop. Ijulu gets it poked loose from behind, down to the baseline. Ijulu holds on to it, four on the shot clock. Price gets the jump, stole it away once again. Jalen Deer trying to find some space. Tunso again, and this time poked loose. Fanshawe ball, 21 still on the shot clock. Keep in mind, Jalen Deer, keep an eye on him a lot tonight. The brother. Side deer. You see the beautiful slam. Tunstall taking the chance. Taking the chance off the inbound. No good from Verdi. All the way to the other end. Giving it right back to Verdi. Right in his lap. Moved up by Jalen Deer. Deer swings it around. Once again, Verdi. Swish. Fanshawe, one of the top three point shooting teams this season. Just a tick under 34%. Six pass to the province. They leave for the first time now. Nearly stole it away once again on the pass. Petty gets it back on the give and go. No good. Now don't by Whalen. Once again, Verdi for three. Yes, he's got it. Timeout call. This time by St. Clair, by Brennan Siegel and Matthew Sykes. And the points are raining down early. Ten to five. Back-to-back -back triples by Verdi. The Falcons with the early momentum just about three minutes in to quarter number one here tonight. Let's take a look at the individual leaders. Rebounds per game, Ijulu has had a stellar start to his St. Clair career. Fourth year of eligibility entering this campaign. Fifth in a rebounding, just under 10 rebounds per game. Delroy Grandison for Niagara is leading the way in rebounds currently with 11.3. So Ijulu... He's come off the bench a majority of the campaign. Just a second start tonight, mind you. Once the top five of the rebounding game. Looks like some substitutions coming. Yes, it's the battle of the Deers. Josiah Deer now moves to the scores table, moves to the floor. Steam trailing by five early. Press the starting five for St. Clair. Stays stationed twice. Vincent Simon, Ijulu, Williams. 10 to 5, Fanshawe. Price gets down low. Vincent Simon trying to cut in, draws contact instead. Contact up time coming from Jalen Deer. His first personal, first team foul. That brings up Chad Vincent Simon. Simon, a veteran for this team, has missed a few games, makes the first of two. But when he has played, 
He's been very efficient from the stripe. A team leading 90% from the free throw line. Sankor first in the province as a team. 74%. Three point lead now for the Falcons down for the two for two. Outside Purdy to the low post. Trailer tries to work in, blocked by Ijulu. Dive on the play. Deer stripped away. Birdie gives it out to Deer. Deer from way deep can't bank it. Off the rebound, Tunstill. Given back down to Trailer. On the cut, the trailer. Able to find the cutting Tunstill. Back at the other end. Vincent Simon gives it off to Williams. Williams elects to drive. Contested. Poked back up by Julu, but no one there to rebound it. Coming up to four minutes into the first quarter. Fanshawe leads by five. Low post. Trailer. Bullet pass. Moved over to the corner again. Verdi again for three. Yes, sir. Verdi with nine points from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Price picking a roll. Draws contact. And now ball knocked out of bounds. First substitution of the night. Ferris Adamu comes on in. The fourth year eligible player from Mississauga. Looks like a second substitution may come in on the next stoppage. Williams. Sees Deer take the three off the rim. Battle for the ball. Draws the jump. And the jump ball sequence. Called St. Clair basketball. Another substitution, Verdi. It's coming out currently. Coming in is Costa Pulimeno. the first reporter from Brantford. Fourteen on the shot clock now for the inbound. Jewel gives it out. Price. Looking to get to work. Feeds it off to Vincent Simon for three. Yes. Vincent Simon so far has eight points this game. Working around with it. Folia Meadows tries to pass it. Intercepted. Taken up by Price. Back out of Vincent Simon again for three. Yes, sir. St. Clair back within two. Trailer can't get it to fall inside. And a whistle called. Vincent Simon draws a reach. That time, Adamu triggers the personal. Team second is first. And another substitution coming in this time. Jalen Harmon, who was originally slotted to be in the starting five until a late decision. He now comes in. It's worth noting Jalen Harmon wearing a right sleeve for this matchup tonight. He gets the ball in the corner to start his first possession. Down low, Vincent Simon through the traffic again gets it. Chad Vincent Simon, 13 of the 15 St. Court points going his way. On the drive, call it the charge. Harmon there triggering the charge. And Fanshaw scrambling to figure out the defensive arrangement for Vincent Simon. There's the personal against Whalen. And we're tied at 15. On the substitutions. Monstos coming in, Tunstill. Whalen, no Monstos swapping about. It's coming in, Luca Philivon. Through the traffic, my goodness, Vincent Simon again. Chad Vincent Simon putting his team on his back. Nearly intercepted, tapped out of bounds by the Saints. And look at this, through a triple team, how do you do? More changes, Adamu, Brendan in the play call. Brendan Mudge inbounds it. 
Not once again. Thole Vaughn loses the ball. Picks it back up. Throw it away by Price. Bounced up to Williams with the left hand. Timeout call and pitch off. And Coach Marco Tulio is not happy with his team. They go from a near double digit advantage to trailing by four off of Chad Vincent Simon in explosion. 15 of the 19 points off of him. You see the discussion for St. Clair with this advantage. Little more different tone on the other side. You see in the backdrop for Fanshawe. St. Clair enters tonight, mind you, as one of the top field goal attempts teams, one of the top shooting teams in the province, one of the top free throw shooting teams in the province, one of the top rebounding teams in the province, one of the top steals teams in the province. Amongst the top three in all those totals, if not the leader in those. For Fanshawe, in the conversation with 13th in scoring, Top six and three-point percentage, as mentioned, solid on the rebounding front. Blocks a part of the bread and butter, rather than the steals. Marco Tulio not happy with his entire bench. Under four minutes to go in the first quarter of play. Here in this one, St. Clair leads 19-15. Duncan's trying to find some positives on the cut. Out of, move. out of the double, gives it off to Mudge. Mudge, bottom of the rim, second chance, no. Third chance, no. Picked up again by Vincent Simon. Vincent Simon passes it back out to the side here, moved out to Harmon with a man in his face. Can't get it to fall this time. Out of move. Works it back on the inside. On the drive, Whalen, call for the charge. Whalen already with two personals. And the next one puts Fanshaw over the limit. More changes. Deer coming in. Also coming in this time is Tunstill. Back in as well as Trailer. Williams. Works around the outside, gives it off to Vincent Simon. Simon steps back again for another jumper. Yes, he's got it. Jalen Deere holds on to it. Trying to reach Williams, going with a double clutch, count it, and the foul. Jalen Deere draws the end one. And he'll go to the line to shoot one. Griff, meanwhile, has made his way up to the various dignitaries attending tonight's Alumni Varsity Night. Plenty of festivities as part of tonight and plenty of alumni in attendance. You see the call. It's completed this time. Jalen Deere, 66.7% free throw shooter. Three-point game. To the corner, Vincent Simon. Moved up to side here quickly, Vincent Simon. Moved down low, Harmon blocked and out of bounds. Trailer will get a piece of that one, eight on the shot clock. Lots of substitutions now, Jack Bryce coming in. He'll come in for Williams. So on the previous stoppage, Tim Stewart coming in for St. Clair. Trailer now coming out this stoppage, coming in Keenan Thompson. Quick pass, trying to go straight to Vincent Simons. The Sinkor basketball. Burns two seconds off the clock. And bound to Harmon. Back to Price. Three on the shot clock. Has to get a shot off. Josiah Deer off the front of the rim. Picked up off the board by the Falcons. Taken up by Tunstill. Still gives it off to Deer. Outside again for three. Verdi this time misses for the first time. Coming up to two minutes into this first quarter. 21-18 St. Clair. Vincent Simon again for three. No good. Quickly passed up the other end. 
to the corner. Off the pump, Harmon on the block attempt. Vincent Simon the help. Tapped out of bounds by the Falcons, St. Corps basketball. Mudge coming back in for Fanshaw. Coming out this time is Thompson. And our substitution, Ijulu coming in for Harmon. Price takes it up. Pass down through the traffic to the Saiyans here, drawing the free throws. This time, Mudge calling for the personal, and that puts Fanshaw over the limit. St. Corey in the bonus to the next minute and 46 seconds. So at the line, Josiah Deer. This season, 15 points per game, which is about 57% from the free throw line. Fred Butter coming in streaks of points. One for two at the strike this time. Strips it away to pick up the rebound. Moved over to Price. Price. Contested, can't get it a fall. Rebound by Verdi. Back the other way, quickly poked away by Stewart. Fanshawe keeps the basketball, though. 21 still on the shot clock. Verdi sets up outside. And kickball violation, Jalen Dealer will have a rebound. Jalen Deer looking to pass it in. Verdi still can't get open. Oh, and they run out of time here. Five second violation. Jalen Deer having a hard time finding someone to inbound it to both times. And another change. Coming out as Mudge, coming in as Thompson. Marco Itulio, Marco Tulio should say, coach for Fanshawe, plenty of substitutions early. Price, here we lose the dribble, tries to pick it back up, draws the whistle, Thompson called for the reach. And Shaq Price will go to the strike to shoot for two. Thompson's first. Hanamu coming in as a result of the personal for Phil Vaughn. Meanwhile, when it comes to Shaq Price in this season, been one of the team leaders since transferring over from the university. Thanks to the first of two. 21.5 points per game, shooting just under 83% for the free throw line this season. Makes the second. Six-point advantage for St. Clair. Moved up by Jalen Deere. Jalen Deere gets the screen, slip screen. Trying to pass it to Verde, poked loose by Petty. Darnell Petty goes up for the layup. St. Clair leads now by eight. Quickly back to the other end. Petty watches the pass down low. Basket waved off. Another personal. This time to shine Deer, caught for the personal. His first. Team second. Final minute of this first quarter. This time able to find an inbounder to Thompson, nearly stolen away. And Josiah Deer will go to the grandstands and visit the fans. And back out. Thompson. Gets it to Adamu off the inbound. Give it back to Verdi. Six to work with on the shot clock. Quick passes around. Adamu. Pass to the corner. Popped down off the deflection. Inbound again from the sideline. Two on the shot clock. Looking for a quick inbound, Adamu contested, can't bank it in. 
Price picks up the rebound in the midst of traffic. Down low, Stewart struggles to hold on to it. And Fanshawe will get the ball back. About a four or five second different shot clock and game clock as Trailer comes back in, the second year player from Toronto. Coming in for Thompson this time. Now going to Tunstill. Taken up by Verdi. Verdi loses the ball. Guarded by Stewart. Tries to cut left. Moved off again, Jalen Deere. Spinning around trailer. Seven on the shot clock. And a weightless whistle on the pass. This time the personal against St. Clair. Ijulu with the first personal. 13 foul. Shot clock now off for the remainder of the first quarter. Taylor gives it off to the corner. Moved around in the midst of traffic. Verdi fades back, can't get it. Tapped around and another whistle called. Over the back foul called this time. Out of bounds rather, they now say. Three seconds to go in the first quarter. Price coming from half court. Can't get it a fall. After 10 minutes of play, 26-18 the score. St. Cora leads. You're watching. We did it all. ever pressure you to take a drink just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't I promise love you too dad they really do hear you for tips on what to say visit underage drinking .gov. for every big breath for every little breath and for every breath in between Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. Welcome back everyone to Windsor. 26-18 is your score entering the second frame. So far, Chad Vincent Simon has been a majority of the offense in this one. Six for seven shooting in the first quarter in eight minutes, scoring 17 points. Leading the way for Fanshawe Verde with nine points early in the first. Back it away for the second, starting things off. Adamu chucks it up after a bubble around, picked up by Petty. Petty lined up by Price, joined by Ijulu. Also joined by Williams, rounding up the five on the floor now for St. Clair in the corner is 2-2. Jangatti off the miss. Adamu once again feeds it around into the traffic. Jalen Deer. And the foul goes to 2-2 Jangatti going down before the contact. First personal. Against the first year player originally from Holy Names High School. So back to the line goes Deer. Jalen Deer so far three points on the night makes the first of two free throws. One of the first players, in fact, the first player tonight, the coaching staff from St. Clair put a star next to. Talking about the players to watch from Fanshawe. Seconds good. Six point game, 26 20. 30 seconds into the second quarter, and it's a charge. Jalen Deer is down at midcourt. And let's take a look. There's a Julu called for the hard screen up the court. 
So a second personal against DiGiulio. He comes out now for Harmon. With the ball, Hamza Hamden out to the three. Good, Verdi. Verdi continuing to keep up his three-point ways. That's his fourth triple tonight. Taken up now for the setup. Outside Petty. Harmon to the baseline. Tries to work it back out to Price. Does. Then around again. Jangati takes the shot, drops it. Jangati drops the J. And responds back with the triple. The other end looking for some space is Deer. Jalen Deer calling for motion. Verdi originally sets up for the screen. He backs off. Tunstone now comes up to get it. Pass on back intercepted by Price. Pass to the other end off the hand of Jan Gatti into the green curtain with the turnover. So far, lots of turnovers popping up in this first half of play. They were a combined 11 the first 10 minutes alone of this game. Verdi. Calls for some motion once again. No motion coming yet. Now it finally comes. You're trying to open himself up. Goes to the top to trailer. Moved over to Deer. Jalen Deer for three. Yes, he's got it. Taken up to Bryce. Moved up for the jam. Harmon. Jalen Harmon goes baseline. Trailer feeds it back off. Hamdan gives it back off the trailer. Trailer misses down to the low post. Rice with a rebound draws the reach. And Ali Trailer with the first personal. Take a look at Harmon. Tactically bounces around on the dunk attempt on the soft touch. And more substitutions coming around for Fanshawe. Thorvon, amongst those coming in, comes in this time for Jalen Deer. Sancor leading by five. Williams. Looks to give it off. Does for the three again. It's good. Jan Danny. Oh, and it looks like a warning given to the Sancor bench from the celebration. Some of the players coming onto the court being told you need to stay back of the green line. Still an eight point advantage now for St. Clair. Time for some motion. This is McKay. No darts. Passing it off. Smothered is Tunstall. Stripped away by Williams. Up the floor for the right hand. Yes, again. Jen Caddy. Eight points so far from him in the past couple minutes. He picks up the rebound. Jen Caddy stripped. Times to get it back. Draws the jump ball. St. Corp basketball. And an air substitution now for Fanshawe. Mudge back in again. Also coming back in is Verdi. You look at some of the fans along the side. These are some of the women's basketball players cheering things on after they ended up picking up the double last time out on the floor moments ago today. Price gets the screen from Harmon up top. Feeds it off to Harmon, off the left hand, and out. And another change. The rotation continues. Bryson Mitchell now to the floor for Fanshawe. On the inbound. The quick with a birdie. 
The right hand sped up now. Bill Vaughn stolen away. Here it comes, Vincent Simon, hello! Chad Vincent Simon stops it down. Back at the other end, Bill Vaughn. Bill Vaughn able to pass it off. Mitchell back and forth, smothered. Trailer gets a pump, draws contact, count it, and the foul. Arbenado will place the feet in time there. Looking at the other end, Vincent Simon stomping it down. Ball actually bounced off his face. Play continues with three personals now. Check that two, St. Clair on the board. Harmon called for that personal. So trailer is to the line. As mentioned, the player of the week for the OCAA misses the N1 free throw. 15 point per game score. Fanchon gets the ball back after the bounce around off of St. Clair. Down coming from the baseline. Verdi. Feeds it back. Low post once again to work for Trailer. This time another miss. Up with it is Price. Screen set by Harmon. Price for three. It's right. Yes. Jack Price now with five points this half. Trailer. Guarded by Harmon once again. Moves it back. Give it a 40. Testing out his range a little deeper. No good. Price. Full court pass. The Jangotti, he gets it. Over to Harmon. Moved off to Williams. Back outside. Jangotti. Too short. Falcons trying to go quick, and they turn it over. Thrown away by Mudge, and Josiah Deer now comes in. And another change coming. Tunstill coming in for Mudge. And you see how happy that sideline is with the scoring outburst just seen from Jangani. Just three minutes on average coming into tonight. Puts up eight off the bench. Vincent Simon again for three. Yes, he's got it. Chad Vincent Simon with 22 points. Trailer bounces it out on the three in response. It's good. Holy Meadows this time. On the other end for the stop. Williams draws contact instead. We'll go to the line to shoot two. And Tunstill caught the personal. His first. And look at this. Nearly stuffed down by Williams. Makes the quick adjustment. And now we'll go to the line to shoot two. Terrence Williams shooting 62% for the strike this year. Averaging almost 13 points per game. Missed the first. Getting an increased role this campaign amongst the players. Utilized a fair bit from the bench last campaign. He's known for his rebounding, averaging about six this year. One for two. And another substitution for Fanshawe. Jalen Deere back in. Bryson Mitchell coming out. Under five minutes to go in this first half of play. Remember, halftime coverage can be seen here on Weed Digital. Be sure to stick around. Setting things up once again. Verdi. Screen from Trailer. Trailer on the roll over Williams with the mismatch. Gets it. Falcons trailing by 12. 45 33. Vincent Simon again. This time can't make it fall. Not from his hot spot. Verdi. Back out again, tough still. Tries to pass it in traffic, intercepted. Up to Harmon for the layup, yes. His second bucket tonight. The other end, Bowie Menos feeds it around. Give it to low post again, trailer. Back 
back outside. Wide open. Jalen Deere can't bounce it in. Price on the board. Out of the double team. Vincent Simon straight into a foul. Sun still second. And that will see his exit for Adamu. Price also coming out for Stewart now. Brought up this time by Williams. Screen set by Josiah Deer. Stewart sets up in the corner as well as Vincent Simon. Worked around to the Stewart side. Stewart worked around to the other side. Williams moves it back over to Harmon now. Five on the shot clock. Over trailer gets the J. Sped up by Verdi. Verdi throws it to himself. That counts as a double dribble. Let's see that Fanshawe bench. Taken up now by Williams on the floor. Off to Harmon. Simon calling for motion with Stewart. Vincent Simon moves over to his hot spot in the corner. Stewart elects to drive it. And draws another whistle. Next one puts Sinkler in the bonus. This time, Foley Menos caught for the personal, his first. This will bring Stewart to the line to shoot two, a 50% shooter this season. He's appeared in each of the Sankor games, averaging about 10 minutes a game. Makes the first two. He's not known for his offense, though, in the time span. Has picked up some rebounds, some assists, along him with his totals. Not too many turnovers. Misses the second. Final three minutes of the first half of play. Adamu tries to shovel pass it, intercepted. Moved over for the passes for Vincent Simon. The rim says no, but a whistle on the elbow. And Adamu with a personal. Right there at the last moment. Fanshawe's over the limit. Chad Vincent Simon having one of his most stellar games in a St. Cor Saints uniform. Averaging just 12 points entering tonight. And that came on just 37% shooting. Trying to set up for the second free throw. It's good. And St. Cor leads by 20. Jalen Deere hands it back off. Willie Meadows looks back, passes back. Move back to Deere again. Down low, trailer loses the ball out of bounds. And now Thompson comes in for Fanshawe. Harmon coming out now for Petty. As a result of the turnover as well. Price also back in. Just signed Deer gets a breather. Rather, Williams gets a breather. Signed Deer saying hello to them. Rice. Works the pick and roll. Vincent Simon goes down to the low post. Seward trying to take it himself again. Gives it off to Vincent Simon. Moved off to Petty. Six on the shot clock. Petty with separation. Can't get it to drop in. Taken up quickly by the Falcons on the drive. Verdi there for his first non-three. Vincent Simon gives it off this time to Stewart for the setup. Worked around the outside. Vincent Simon inside the arc. Doesn't get the jumper to roll. And it looks like going back the other direction. Stewart in the vicinity that time. Fifty-three thirty-five, minute fifty-three to go after the Stewart foul. Trying to pass it back after the deflection. And Dan able to hold on to it. Now with it is Deer. Dorna Verdi contested in front of Price. Can't get it. Side Deer 
They get the rebound, moved up by Petty. Price off the deal for three. Yes. And the points continue to drop for St. Clair. Dale and Deer. Looks it away. Stewart on the switch over. Back over to Deer. Move to the corner. Verdi able to keep it inbounds. Thompson gives it off to Verdi. No look for three. Yes. Verdi has been the offense for Fanshaw. On the other end, Price responds at one. Jack Price drawing the end one. Billy Meadows called for the personal, his second. There's substitution, Vincent Simon coming out for a breather. And Gatti coming back in. And the end one's complete. St. Croix leads by 21. Falcons looking for any momentum they can at this point. Verdi gets back and forth. And knocked out of bounds by St. Clair. Hamdan trying to work back and forth there. Inbound Verdi trying to find some space. Give it to Thompson instead. Thompson guarded by Price. That Verdi trying to take something contested. Can't make it work. Gengani on the rebound. Full court pass. Josiah Deer rejected by Verdi. What an effort by Verdi. Taken back by St. Clair. They reset. About a 10 second difference. Shot clock game clock. Rice on the pick and fade. Knocks over his man. Passes it off someone's face. Two in the shot clock. And. Originally a signal for a double dribble instead of travel called. And Fanshawe wants a timeout with 10.8 seconds in the first half of play. 59-38 St. Clair the score. And to remind you that tomorrow we are back on the air as Sheridan comes into town for volleyball. The men take the floor at 6 p.m. Eastern. Catch the woman at 8 p.m. Catch that here all on WeDigital.ca. Looking at some of the fans as they look for some souvenirs in the stands. To give away some extra towels. Given to some of the fans as they enter tonight in the building. The fans coming out for alumni night action this evening. See those t-shirts, or rather those towels. Attempted to be given away. It's worth noting some of those towels did not make it to the grandstands. They made it two feet. Fanshaw trying to find a way to make it the whole way up the court. Out through the pressure. Stripped forward, taken away. Three seconds left in the half. Going for the alley-oop for Price as Price draws the contact. 1.1 seconds to go in the half. Caught against Hamdan, his first personal. Shaq Price makes the first of two. Looking to get double digit points if he can make the second. Second is good. Final shot of the half. Looking for more than half court. Not in time. And St. Clair dominates heading into the locker room. 61. 38. More coverage coming up right after this. You're watching We Did It All from the St. Clair Sportsplex in Windsor, Ontario. 
Vermont's On Time Express has all of your delivery needs covered with a fleet of 50 vehicles, including cargo and sprinter vans, along with 24-foot straight trucks. It doesn't matter if the freight is big or small. Vermont's On Time Express can guarantee safe and prompt delivery service throughout Canada and the United States. Licensed to broker freight throughout North America, Vermont's On Time Express features same-day delivery service, along with a state-of-the-art dispatching system and live GPS tracking assistance. Vermont's is fully insured and Canadian bonded and has certifications with FAST, CTAT, PIP, and SmartWay. Mont's On Time Express is open 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. To get your delivery moving, contact Mont's On Time Express at www.montsontime.ca or call toll free at 877-250-8282. Welcome back to the beautiful sportsplex here at the campus of St. Clair College here in Windsor, Ontario. OCAA men's basketball action going on here on We Digital Productions. The Saints out to, to a commanding 61-38 lead after two quarters of play. As always, joining us at the break is the co-head coach of the Saints, Coach Matt Sykes. Coach Sykes, uh, have to be really pleased with that first half. Uh, to have a 23-point lead in a, in a game like this, which is a rivalry game, you know it's going to be a tough game no matter what. They throw the standings out, throw everything out. This is London, Windsor, St. Clair, Fanshawe. Yeah, I mean, to, to come out and, and in front of the crowd, punch them in the face right away is, yeah. is, is a good... We, we, we had a slow start in the first two minutes, but, uh, I mean, that the rest of the 18 minutes, we, I thought we were unbelievable. Yeah, really, I, w I love the intensity, and I think, uh, again, this is a... I, I want to go back to last weekend, Coach. You split in Toronto, uh, the Humber game, tough game. I know that there was a chance to win that game. Come back, you win. And, you know what, I'm impressed by the guys and their focus and, and you know, that's behind them now and they're just focusing on tonight yeah I mean we have that one quarter at a time one game mentality right um, we we lost to Humber it, it, like you said it was a tough one but then we, but we bounced back with Sheridan we really grinded them out and played a, a, a different brand of basketball than I've seen all year and I mean this right here I mean the 61 is what we are used yeah. to a little bit I mean 61 is a little a little crazy but but the 38 we're I'm happy about right now yeah yeah we talked about that before let's talk about the 61 38 lead uh, where do you think you were able to get it to this point what was the difference in that half well one difference maker was chad with the simon getting sure. 24 and uh, yeah. hitting everything and i mean uh, he didn't even didn't even partake in shoot around last night and, yeah. and then all of a sudden he's here shooting the lights out of the gym and, and i mean Shaq having a first half double double with 10 and 10 10 assists is he just a facilitator and when he knows Shaq is going he was going mm -hmm. and now we, we and we've talked again on our broadcast with you coach the defensive side 38 points that's pretty good um where do you give credit for that? Yeah, I mean, I thought our uh, I thought our defense was really good. I think we had a couple lapses in transition where we allowed uh, Verdi, their shooter, to, to hit some threes. And, I mean, he's a really good shooter. He's got 16. Um, he, he's shooting the lights out. But I think we're doing a really good job of closing out on him and locating him. Um, credit to him for hitting a bunch of shots. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, this game uh, marks the end of the, I guess, first half of home games anyways for the, for the men's squad. Then you go on the road for a couple more before the, the – uh, December break. I, I hate the break. I've, I've talked about it for years. I just hate that long layoff, but it is what it is. Uh, how important is that, uh, you know, to, to finish strong here at home? Obviously, you want to win all your home games, uh, but, but, you know, to play well and, and get set up for those last couple of games and, you know, finish on a positive note. Yeah, here. we're not back at home for a month and a half, so we want to be able to, to close this game out properly. we got to play a really good third quarter to start, and, and it's super important going into the break that we finish strong here, so we have confidence when we come back home in the yeah. second semester. Is, is uh, the direction of the team, Coach Sykes, is it, is it where you and Coach Segan want? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I can't complain, four and two. I said, where we started to where we are now, I, I will always be happy with, our, with the way our guys perform, and, and they're, working, they're working really hard in these last two, couple games, and I think we're only going up from here. Yeah, the losses, Mohawk, uh, which is having an outstanding campaign, Humber, the defending national champions, I mean, two very high-level teams. Uh, you have to believe your team's right there with them, though. 
Yeah, I mean, we lost a double to overtime here in a crazy game, and, and we went to Humber and lost by four, so we're minus six in our losses. So, I mean, we're right there. We're right there with anybody when we play. Um, when we play to our uh, capability, I, I think we'll be tough to beat. All right. Good stuff, Coach. You're tough, too. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Coach Sykes helping us. Uh, I'll let you get in the room, Coach. Uh, good luck in the second half. Thanks, Doug. Uh, Saints leading 61-38 after the first half of play here. A quick timeout. When we come back, we'll look at some of the numbers. You're watching OCAA Men's Basketball on We Digital Productions. Some of the banners here at the beautiful Sportsplex. Welcome back to OCA Basketball here on We Digital Productions. Dominic Papa with our halftime report. A lot of provincial championships, and they're hoping for a couple more by the time uh, basketball is all said and done. 61-38, the Saints leading Fanshawe in the men's game here. Uh, here are the numbers, and you can see by a 23-point lead, some of these stats... Uh, all in favor of the state Saints. You look at the free throws, that uh, is very significant as Fanshawe's only been to the line uh, for four shots. Uh, they've been good, three or four, but only four shots from the charity stripe, whereas the Saints 12 of 15 there at 80%. The three-point situation, pretty even actually. And uh, the field goals, again, uh, Saints much better there. Turnovers and points off turnovers, huge, huge stat in this game. Fanshawe guilty of 16 turnovers, the Saints with seven, but it's that points off the turnovers, 23 of the 61 points for the Saints are from that uh, stat there. So uh, the one stat that Fanshawe has done well is the rebounds. Uh, Steals, St. Clair again uh, doing a great job with that, uh, out, you know, doing Fanshawe by a 9-4 count in that situation. So those are the numbers. The score at halftime, it's St. Clair 61, Fanshawe 38. When we come back to the Sportsplex, a very special guest will be joining me. You're watching OCAA Men's Basketball on We Digital Productions. For every big breath, for every little breath, and for every breath in between, Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. Mont's On Time Express has all of your delivery needs covered. With a fleet of 50 vehicles, including cargo and sprinter vans, along with 24-foot straight trucks, it doesn't matter if the freight is big or small. Mont's On Time Express can guarantee safe and prompt delivery service throughout Canada and the United States. Licensed to broker freight throughout North America, Mont's On Time Express features same-day delivery service, along with a state-of-the-art dispatching system and live GPS tracking assistance. Mont's is fully insured and Canadian bonded and has certifications with FAST, CTAT, PIP, and SmartWay. Mont's On Time Express is open 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. To get your delivery moving, contact Mont's On Time Express at www.montsontime.ca or call toll free at 877-250-8282. We continue on with our halftime report here from the St. Clair College Sportsplex. Men's basketball action here on Wheat Digital Productions. The men leading Fanshawe 61-38. I promised you a very special guest when we come back out of the break. And he has joined us here on the, uh, in the broadcast area. Jimmy Parsons, former great player, former great coach, and still now part of uh, the St. Clair College family. He joins us, and thanks for doing this with us. I'm going to go to Coach Parsons, because that's I, when I was doing my radio show, I always had Coach Parsons. So... That's how I really 
remember you and uh, uh, I still think uh, well you're doing some coaching still right yeah absolutely I'm doing uh, u17 girls uh, right. basketball right now right. coaching my daughter so it's a different aspect of uh, of the game but it is very fun to do and, and fun to be out here on the, on the floor coaching yeah yeah absolutely and we're certainly happy you're still coaching because uh, you did such a <coughs> great job with it uh, the alumni a lot of special people here tonight uh, it's a very busy night they're paying tribute to some of their varsity teams some of the alumni with George Copeland was here earlier people like that a lot of special people what's it mean to be uh, part of the alumni and, and also to have a night like this yeah you know this is great and as a player it was it was awesome to play in back in the day in the classic gym the sports plex is amazing uh, it, is, it was a great opportunity for me to coach here but to have everybody come back and I see past teammates past players uh, men and women from both sides what yeah. I coach it is just a great thing and to have everybody here and pack the sports plex pack the plex is that what we say yeah uh, it is definitely great to see yeah I want to get back to that classic gym though that you mentioned because that place was a beauty I love that gym and, and I'm glad it's still being used uh, here on campus and uh, again I, I think it's still got a lot of good usage out of it but uh, what was that like playing in there? It was, uh, it was a pretty special place, I would imagine. Absolutely. It reminded me of, like, Joe Louis Arena, uh, the old Forum in Montreal. Mm -hmm. Obviously not as big, <laughs> but, you know, the compact uh, Chicago Bulls yeah, exactly. Arena. Yeah. Those little things where you get a few hundred people in there, and they just make noise and just gives you that adrenaline rush uh, yeah, on the court. It seemed like it was a few thousand people. Yeah, exactly. Know, few exactly. And they were right on top of you. They were right, right, almost pretty yeah, much in the game right. with you. So. Yeah. It made, yeah. it, it made it a pretty special uh, uh, era. When you were playing, uh, Coach Parson, uh, you, you did very well, obviously, as a player. You're one of the Saints greats. Uh, to play it in, in, you know, in your hometown, so to speak, and you know, to build on the history that's now St. Clair basketball, which it's really grown, uh, to be a part of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. To play at home was, was a big thing for me, and I didn't know, you know many moons later that I would have the opportunity to coach and continue on. Uh, but to be, and what I tell athletes and, and folks who come here to St. Clair College, to be a part of the St. Clair College is family. I know a lot of teams and organizations talk about family, but this is really a family uh, aspect. If you need something, you let us know. And if we don't know the answer, we'll definitely find an answer for you. Yeah, it's a pretty dynamic uh, place. Uh, and it has been for a long time. But, it, but with the new facilities now, the Acumen Stadium, the, of course, the softball park, uh, and in this place, the, uh, the uh, Sportsplex, uh, it's, uh, it's unbelievable uh, the statement that's been made by St. Clair College and the commitment to, uh, to athletics. There definitely is there, and it's definitely good to see from our, our senior management group. As you know, I'm the chair for the School of Media Art and Design here at the college, so it's kind of full circle for me uh, to see athletes and recruit, uh, welcome people here to St. Clair College, and just give back to the community because the community gave so much to me. Well, you gave us a lot, Jimmy, and we certainly thank you for that. Um, glad you're here to take in some of these festivities tonight. Continued success, and uh, hopefully we'll get to talk down the road. I, I certainly enjoy Absolutely. the chats with you. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Dom. All right. That's Jimmy Parsons, certainly one of the great saints. That's uh, no question about that one. Uh, we're a couple minutes away from the opening of the second half. Men's basketball, the Saints lead, Fanshawe 61-38. Justin Prince will be back with the call. This is OCAA Men's Basketball on We Digital Productions. Every child should learn how to swim for health, for safety, and for fun. That's why we've started Canada's Swim Team. Learn to swim at least 25 meters on your own, and you're on the team. Canada's Swim Team. It's that easy. Help make us the world's largest swim team by adding your name at getswimming.ca. Ask your parents first. Swimming, the only sport that can save your life.
Welcome back, everyone, to Windsor, Ontario for the start of the third quarter. Between St. Clair and Fanshawe, 61-38 the score. Justin Prince with you as we get ready to start off the second half of play. So far, it has been the Chad Vincent Simon show for those just tuning in. Vast majority of the points going his direction, 24 to be precise. Uh, 8 of 11 shooting along with four triples. That leaves all scores here in this one. Don't forget about Shaq Price. Already a double-double. 10 points, 10 assists here in this one. Leading the way for Fanshawe. 14 points. Pierre Verde, who picked up four triples. First half of play. Looking around at some of the various fans here in attendance in the stands tonight. As they look to try and jump around a little bit more. St. Clair lead 61-38 as we're underway for the third quarter. With it is Verde. And immediately they throw it away. Geared for Whalen originally. On the floor for St. Clair to start off this third quarter. Vincent Simon Price lined up alongside Petty. Ijulu Williams. Vincent Simon gives it off to Price. Moved over to Petty for the triple. And some contact off the ball. Blocking foul called and three free throws for Petty. So as a result of the personal, Darnell Petty will go to the stripe to shoot three personal free throws. Makes the first of two. In the first half of play, it was a parade of free throws for St. Court. 12 for 15 for the stripe. They start the second half, two for two. Personal, by the way, went the way of Whalen, his third personal. Petty for the third one. Good. Don't know, Petty drops all three. Stand the lead for its largest point now, 26 points. In around, Jalen Deer calling for some communication with Dunstill. Still now tries to drive it. Trying to draw contact, can't get it to go. Second chance trailer rolls in. And he elects to bring it up this time. Petty trying to go into the teeth of the defense. Out of the range of a jewel for the pickup instead. Turnover. Moved up by Jalen Deer. Can't get it to drop on the layup. Back the other way. On the fast break, Vincent Simon, the left hand, drops another one. Chad Vincent Simon yet again. On the other end. On the high float, it's good. Jalen Deer right over Ijulu. Petty, give it off to Williams. Moved around for Price for the three with a man in his face. Yes. Shaq Price drops the triple. Lead continues to balloon. Moved around the outside. Down with it is Whalen. Whalen stripped away by Price. Floated up for Vincent Simon off the bounce. He's got it. Floated around the other way. A Verde in the corner off the front of the rim. Can't drop it. Toppy Julu on the attempt, missed by Tunstill, picked up by Williams. Full court again for Penny Hollo. He's rejected by the rim. Price though picks up the second chance. And the momentum staying all St. Clair's direction. Just four points for Fanshawe in the first two minutes of this half. 73-42. Failure. Works it down low, Verdi over Williams, rejected by Williams. Vincent Simon tries to throw it off, Verdi. Either way, inbound coming. St. Clair basketball is the call. See a lot of the discussion from head coach Tony Marco Tulio. Officials amongst those coming in. Phil Vaughn with that stoppage. Also coming in, Mudge. Working down low, Thompson. Pass 
Stolen away and knocked loose. They say Fanshawe ball. Vincent Simon thought it was St. Clair's. Coming up to three minutes into this third quarter of play. St. Clair leading by 31. Stolen away by Vincent Simon. Vincent Simon off the lane gets it. Chad Vincent Simon with 30 points. Price posts it loose again. Thompson able to hold on to it. Back in the other direction for the 3 Verde drops it. Dumped by Price. Price hippity hops his way to the outside. Petty. Petty tries to swing it around. Moved around the outside. Ejulu gets it in the low post. Sits on the shot clock. Outside. Vincent Simon yet again. This time drawn. Does not drop. Picked up by Villa Villafon. Moved up once again for a contested three. Verdi again drops it. Verdi has been the one ray of scoring Fanshawe has had tonight. 24 points. Outside, Vincent Simon, the response, can't get it off the front of the rim again. Done by Thompson. Coming up to midway through the frame. Verdi looks to spin again. Gets rejected this time. Moved up to Ijulu. Block at one end, blocked back at the other by Vardy. Knocked out of bounds, Vardy with a second chase down block tonight. That brings up Josiah Deer. Come in for Vincent Simon, also coming in for Fanshawe. Now it's Mitchell. Also coming back on in, Jalen Deer. Who knocks over a piece of the scoreboard padding. Part of the rotation of substitutions. Inbound going about. Williams going about for three. Can't get it. Sped up the floor by the Falcons. Knocked out of bounds. Fanshaw basketball. Coming up to the midway point of the season. Already approaching the winter break. Basketball action. St. Clair. Looking strong on the start. Looking to go to 5-2 and two if they can hold on the rest of the way here. Travel called against Fanshawe. And more changes coming from Fanshawe. Pulling Meadows this time coming in. He comes in for Mudge. Price works it forward, turnover taken by Mitchell. Pui Menos back over to Mitchell for the floater in the lane, can't get it to fall. St. Clair sends back to the other way. Price wide open, Petty in the paint. Shaw Falcons. Right now, one of their lowest totals of the season, the lowest point total they've had this year, 61. Rolled in by Tunstill. The Red Williams gives it off to the corner. Three good, Josiah Deer. Josiah Deer has seven points tonight. Outside Tunstall. Give it off to Jalen Deer again. Jalen guarded by Josiah. Screen forces the switch. Back outside three. No good. And nothing is falling for Fanshaw. Price. Outside. Josiah Deer. Front of the rim. Picked up by Thompson. Jalen Deer gives it off. Trying to go for the jam. Tunstall rejected. 
on the other side. Penny leads it up. Jalen Deer guarded by Ijulu. Responds back with the layup. Got 10 points so far tonight. The other side, Bryce. Side here rejected by the rim. Count it. And the foul for Ijulu. Just the second team foul this quarter by Fanshaw. Kenna Thompson calls the personal his second. Their change coming in with substitutions. Adamu comes in for Mitchell. Quiet night, a very quiet night, in fact, for Ijulu. Just his first bucket. And one is completed, Ijulu. Just under 10 points in the season for tonight. Ijulu comes out, Harmon back in. Stewart also now in, now for St. Clair. the wings to the top Josiah Deer watches Jalen Deer miss it dumped by Williams Stewart over to Josiah Deer moved over to Harmon Harmon wide open front of the rim and another whistle and this goes against Darnell Petty his first personal team first Three minutes to play now in this third quarter. 85-52 St. Clair. Around Jalen Deer. Over to Thompson. No one in the paint for Fanshaw. But around by Tunstall. Who goes in the paint for the bucket? Petty. Rejected but a whistle call. Adamu just about swatted that ball to the next building over. See the contact there after the contact of the ball went up itself for the body. And Petty back to the stripe. Petty 70% from the free throw line this season makes the first. Second one rims out. 86 54. Thompson down inside the double. Not able to make it fall even after pump faking him. Petty takes it down. Open is Williams for the bucket. Down to the final few minutes of this third quarter. Two minutes to go. Off the pump and pass back to Thompson. Off the mark. And another Fanshawe turnover. Turn up count approaching 20s at this mark. St. Clair starting to clear out their bench. As back in is Jen Gatti. Also in for the first time is William Buffon. Working for the Harmon, intercepted. Thompson gives it to Adamu. Moved out once again, Jalen Deer. Can't make it fall, here comes Stewart. Stewart looking over to his left, takes the drive himself, misses with the left hand, picks up his own miss. Stripped away after the rebound, moved up by Jalen Deer. Jalen Deer knocks over Harmon. And the whistle called. It's Harmon. And St. Clair not agreeing with the call. His second personal. Both of them attempting the charge. And it looks like a warning has been given. And now a technical has been given to St. Clair's bench.
So Harmon comes out, Ijulu comes in. Harmon not looking happy. As everybody is making space for Harmon to sit, he does not want to sit down. Wild first the technical from Jalen Deere. So a clarification now with the scores table. Just clarification on the scoring of the play. As Brennan Segan continues to plead his case from the sequence. Deere bounces in the free throw. Third free throw in this sequence drops. All three good. One of the technicals. St. Clair sets up for the inbound. Stewart. Rick Ross. Taken back and forth. And Stewart can't hold on to it. Turns it over. Set up. Trying to move to the left. Whalen loses it. Taken forward again. And Mudge may have been out of bounds there. Our substitution, Tunstall. Let's take a look over at Coach Lashantz, who's in the stands tonight. In fact, several of the members of the football program. Just watching along. Team finishing up a bowl series for some of the high school programs recently in tier two. Outside Stewart. Going for the J. No. Back out for the second chance. Jack Gotti can't get it to go. Another 14 second reset on the shot clock. Back around for Josiah Deer. Seven of the shot clock this time. Josiah Deer tries to drive it, rejected. Swatted away that time by Adamu. Adamu jumps it forward. And another whistle on the cut. Ijulu gone for his third personal. And the team four. Eight points so far on the night for Tunstall. Tunstall was described by the coaching staff by St. Clair to be super athletic, as we've seen with the dunk earlier. And also wiry. For the second free throw. Doesn't go. Ward picks up the board. Tries to drive around the corner. Corner ends up being a brick wall. St. Cord trying to dribble it down for the final shot, possibly of the corner. Jan Gatti wants the chance. Six on the shot clock. Down to four. Working with three. Drives it in with the right hand, rolls it in. That ends up the corner. 90 to 57. St. Clair the score. You're watching We Did It All for more coverage of OCA men's basketball.
just gonna hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. For every big breath, for every little breath, and for every breath in between, Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. Look over to the grandstands at St. Clair. Ref, can I fly? Up 90 to 57. Part of festivities tonight. Also a raffle going on for Hooping Around the Clock, run by High Rise Basketball Organization. 24-hour fundraiser that gives back to organizations in the county. Raised $157,000 in its history. It's returned this year for 2020. Bucket good to start things off for St. Clair in the fourth quarter. Stewart picks up the rebound off the Fanshawe miss. Stewart on the drive, can't get it to go. But a whistle is called again. This time another blocking foul against Philavon. For Fanshawe, a parade of turnovers tonight, 22 for the Falcons. Stewart makes the first of two. Now two for three from the charity stripe. Shooting just 7 of 19, 37% in the third. That one no good. 93-57, poked around. Tunstall tries to lay it up over two players. Can't get it to go. Taken up by Stewart again. Stewart passes it back. Move to the corner for the three. It's good. Buffon. Buffon's first points tonight. Moved around for Adamu to the baseline. Rejected this time on a layup. Moved up for Josiah Deer. He pulls up for three. Doesn't draw iron. Adamu brings it up himself now this time on the bounce. Moved back to the outside. Moved to the corner for the three. Rattles around and in. McKay Nodars. Able to drop the triple this time. Fanshawe still trails, however, by 36. Stewart trying to cut, gets it in. St. Croix close to breaking the 100 mark yet again this season. And Buffon caught for the personal. First for St. Croix of the quarter. So that, once again, brings the trip to the free throw line. This time for Phil Vaughn, the first year player from London, Ontario. Makes the first of two. 14 minutes per game. Has started a game, in fact, this season. Shooting perfect for the strike on the campaign. Makes the second. Stewart able to break away from the reach attempt yet again. Across the logo. Stewart tries to spin it out. Stolen away. Phil Vaughn once again. Phil Vaughn gets rejected by Ijulu. Ijulu able to block it off and away. 18 still on the shot clock. This time bounced over to McKay, no darts. Nooner loses the ball, given back instead. Jalen Deer swung around for a deeper three off the mark from Verdi. St. Clair still looking to pile on some points. Moved around the outside again. Jan County gets it. And St. Clair hits the 100 mark.
St. Clair's third time this season hitting 100 plus points. Move now to the low post. Outside, Kalen Deer tries to go over Ijulu, rims out. Picked up by Josiah Deer. Josiah Deer bounces it over for the fast break. Another bucket good. Jan Gotti's best game as a Saint so far. Stolen away again, Josiah Deer. Josiah Deer takes the three instead. Jan Gotti with the rebound with the left hand. Can't get it a bounce. Four Falcons there for the rebound this time. Jalen Deer stopped over again for another Verdi three, another one good. Verdi with 27 points tonight. It's been the one of few bright spots for the Falcons, if at all, tonight. Stewart moved around to Ijulu. Give it off to Shia Deer, who takes another three. Can't get it to go again. Ijulu can't get the board. This time picked up by Verdi. Coming up to four minutes into the fourth quarter, 103-65 St. Clair here on Wayne Theater Door. Shot up again, rejected by Ijulu. He picks up his own miss, move back outside for another three. No good on the triple from Phil Philophon. Fanshawe getting ready to clear out their bench. Another three, no good, Jan Gatti. Both teams starting to chuck up shots. Jack Gatti strips it away, goes to the first row. Up inside, Stewart. No good. Ijulu there for the putback. And the Saints now lead by a whopping 40 points. Chucked up by Jalen Deer. No good. Josiah there to, for the board. Tempo kept up high by St. Clair. Another layup attempt, another one no good. This time doesn't draw iron at all. Moved and quickly passed around. Jalen Deer, reach in, call, Jan Gatti. His second personal. And Fanshaw now gets to clear out the bench. Four changes out of the five coming here. Jalen Deer staying in. Once those in here now include after the changes, Hamdan, Thompson, also in is Tunstall. Also in is Poli Mianos. Second free throw is good. About halfway to the fourth quarter of play here on Weed Theater Dole. Gotti working a high screen with Ijulu. Back to the corner, back to the three, back to the good for Buffon. On the other side, the Falcons pass it off the Saints' arm. Buffon steals it away. Yep. On the side, they say it was a backcourt violation on the attempt. And another change. Mitchell. And it looks like a timeout is called by Fanshaw. So the Fanshaw Falcons are looking to talk things over, trailing by 42. Meanwhile, be sure to return tomorrow as it's volleyball with Sheridan. Coverage starts at 6 p.m. with a man and woman at 8 p.m. Then Niagara, Saturday the 7th, 3rd, starts at 2 p.m. Then men at 4 p.m. And don't forget about Fanshawe Volleyball action to return for the 2023 calendar year, January the 11th, 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. The start times for those matchups, all that coverage can be seen here on WeDigital.ca. St. Clair has outright dominated here in this one. More than 40 points the advantage. They look for win number five. Fanshawe, the Verge dropping to three and five and breaking a two game winning streak. They started off the year with a four game losing spell. After their initial start, 
of the campaign with a win. Moving around to the corner, Bowie Meadows. This one around the outside. On the pass, Pulley Meadows. On the pass, shot clock violation called against Dunstall. And some of the Saints fans starting to make their way to the exits here. Scored margin. And bobbled and dropped out by Petty. Post game coverage coming up. Position of this matchup. Be sure to stick around. Winner of the game. Signs it around. And Dan poked loose. Bond steals it away. Move forward for Petty. Petty tries to set up a drive. Likes to back it off. Kevin the shot clock double teamed up at the top. Let's get Jangatti. Buffon extra passes all the way around the world to the Fanshawe Falcons defense for the steal. Thompson given down low on the pump, then the fade. It's good. Mitchell. Moved up by Buffon. Got him slowing it on down. Trying to communicate with the offense. No screens coming in. Nearly caught for the travel there, instead knocked out of bounds. Okay, Nodar's coming on in this time. Nine still on the shot clock. Ijulu, run by for Buffon. All the way around the outside. Now working to try and beat the shot clock, Adam Maslow. No. Adam Maslow, a former teammate for Jan Gatti at Holy Names. No good on the shot. And looks like Jan Gatti will get a breather with this stoppage. Final four minutes of play here on We Digital 108 68 St. Clair. Thompson. Back around. Thompson for the shot no good another air ball tonight Tunstall not able to hit the shot at this point the drum circle is using the drums as shouting devices Maslu over to Stewart Petty trying to open up near the paint no one now to the paint, except for Stewart, who loses the ball, drops it, and turns it over yet again, and Fanshawe yet again calls timeout, still down 40. So Fanshawe Falcons still wanting to try and have some teachable moments here. Griff, meanwhile, Hoppy is animal in the building. Sankor leading 108-68. And glad to have you with us for Alumni Varsity Night throughout the festivities tonight. Earlier tonight, the women's basketball team for Sankor picking up the victory. See the celebrations with them right now. Banshaw had to come back from double digit points multiple times. And that one, not so much happening here in the men's game. Long faces say a lot of how tonight's gone. Two fifty one to go in the fourth quarter. Van Shaw with the basketball. Taken up. Bully Meadows. Van Shaw tries to swing it. On the drive, it's good. Tunstall. Petty. Trying to cut across to her, does. 
for Stewart. Out to Petty. No good on the triple. Now back to Thompson. Thompson. Swung around outside yet again. McKay Nodars. Move back and forth by Tunstall. Out to Thompson. Front of the rim. Two minutes to go in the four. Petty. With Maslow. Maslow. Slip screen set with Petty. They can fade. Moved out to Buffon. Boo. Buffon with nine points now tonight. All from triples. Thompson. Works with Dunstall. Pulls back, takes a three, air balls it again. Another change for Fanshawe. Good attempt by Griff. Into the game is Hamdan yet again. Double team, Mitchell with the help. St. Clair has to break ahead of the timeline. They do. Petty. Benny Julu again. It's good. Coming up to the final minute of play here in this fourth quarter. Hamdan. Works the screen. Back out Mitchell. Three on the shot clock and contact. And Darnell Petty caught for the personal, his second. 56.1 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter of play. for the second. It's good. Fanshawe keeping up the press. Maslu up to Stewart. That off to Petty. Petty Looking to pass it off, gets the give and go with Ijulu. Seven on the shot clock, Maslum for three. Yes, he's got it. And Adam Maslum with his first points as a St. Clair Saint. Thrown away again by Fanshawe. So many times tonight, passes thrown towards the direction of the scores table along that side. Petty gets the ball inbound this time. A five second different shot clock and game clock to close things out for win number five. Second strength for St. Clair. Petty putting on the moves. Petty again. Gives it off. Three seconds on the shot clock. They don't take the shot. And with under five seconds to go, it's just about to do it. Fanshawe dribbles it out. And St. Clair wins their second in a row, their fifth of the season. 116-72, the final. Fanshawe drops to three and five. 2022-23. Post-game coverage coming up right after this. You're watching We Did It All from the St. Clair College Sportsplex in Windsor, Ontario. Where are you headed? Uh, just gonna hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. For every big breath, 
for every little breath. And for every breath in between, Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. Welcome back to the St. Clair College Sportsplex. You can see a very happy fan base exiting the Sportsplex. The men's basketball team put on a clinic tonight, blowing out their rivals, the Fanshawe Falcons, 116 to 72. The men improved to Chad five and two. Yes, Chad was the best tonight. As always, we have our player of the game with us, Chad Vincent Simon, the fourth year player. Just outstanding tonight uh, Chad congratulations uh, thanks for doing this with us and uh, just talk to me about this win tonight uh, quickly how well the team played and, and uh, did did you think you could beat a team this badly so like that translated to the game and in the beginning of the game I was hot and they kept giving me the ball so I yeah you, you were the hot hand <laughs> no question about it there's our numbers 31 points uh, thank you, thank you. Yes, Ch Chad's getting a lot of uh, handshakes here tonight. Um, talk to me about your game. Uh, how good did you feel out there tonight? And, uh, and, and, and how badly did you want the ball? I wanted the ball. I didn't really want the ball that bad, <laughs> but I wanted the ball. But I felt good, even though coming off an injury, like the pain was still going through my mind. But I tried not to think about it and just play my game. Yeah, I think it says a lot about uh, the depth of this team. Uh, you know, the, there's Shaq Price, of course, uh, Jos Josiah Deer. I just think that the, 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 the depth on this team is really coming to the forefront. You show up tonight and lead the team. It seems like uh, every night we could have somebody different. Yeah. Uh, how important is that to, to establish that for this club? It's always important because if I'm not hot, somebody else is hot, and then we always look for that guy. Mm -hmm. So, like, we're not very unselfish. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. You went on your first road trip. I want to talk about that quickly, uh, Chad, if we can. Uh, you split there uh, with Humber and Sheridan. Uh, so you, you've seen the best in, in what the conference has to offer in, in Humber and Mohawk. You're right there with them. Uh, both those games, Humber and Mohawk, uh, were winnable games. Yeah. Came up on the short end. But uh, what do you take out of those games? And, and is some of that coming out of the play now in the last couple of games? Uh, just try to play hard every time. Don't mm -hmm. think about the losses because every game is different. And keep going from there. Five and two now uh, on the year. Yeah. Um, make sure you smile because you've got... See, I, I, Chad's getting all this publicity here tonight, and uh, it's like he's got his fan club here. <laughs> it seems like everybody's wanting pictures and handshakes. But uh, it must feel pretty good to, to, to have people supporting you like that. Yeah, I feel, I always feel good. Yeah. That was a good feeling. All right. I'm going to let you get in the room, celebrate right. with you guys. Thank Congrats, you, thank you. Chad. Uh, great job. Thank keep, you. keep it going, okay? I will. Appreciate and, uh, it. And hopefully we'll get to talk more down the for road. For sure, for sure. All right. All right. Our player of the game, uh, outstanding tonight, Chad Vincent Simon. 31 points leading the Saints. Again, they win it 116 to 72 over the Fanshawe Falcons. They improved to 5 and 2, uh, the Saints. And uh, they'll hit the road for the last couple of games and then they go on the break uh, in December. So that was our last look at them in 2022. We'll be back, of course, in 2023 to follow the Saints. And uh, speaking of uh, next broadcast, tomorrow uh, we tap into the volleyball teams. Uh, the men will play at 6 p.m., followed by the women at 8 p.m. right here at the Sportsplex. The Sheridan Bruins in town to take on the Saints, so we'll get to see some good OCA volleyball action here on We Digital Productions. So the story is good here tonight. The Saints win it 116-72. On behalf of everybody here at We Digital Productions, this is Dominic Papa wishing you a great night. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.